Okay, here is a tutorial of making skulls out of milk jugs. Here's a couple that I made. I still gotta paint them and get them looking more like a skull. Now I bought this skull, it's a resin skull, off of Amazon, I think it was like $13, and I mold all my skulls off of that. And here's some basic supplies you're gonna need. Utility knife, you're gonna need that to cut stuff off. Gonna need a good pair of scissors to get the milk jug prepped. Heat gun, I use, you're wondering why I have Clorox wipes, I actually use that as a stand. It kind of works out perfect just to uh, keep my skull in place while I heat the milk jug around it. Uh, bowl of water, which I just did a bunch, so I'm running low on water. I gotta get some more. And a whole supply of milk jugs. I got three kids and two on the way, so we go through a lot of milk jugs. So, no problem there. Alright, I will get started and show you how to get this in gear here. First things first, gotta get the labels off of these. So I just heat them up with the heat gun a little bit and they'll peel right off. Okay, so one thing, just got a little marker and that's the pattern you kind of want to cut out of your milk jug. I didn't mention this earlier and my kids are helping me. Right guys? Yeah. All right. And this one, I'm trying a little experiment. I'm trying to make horns on the skull. So when I mold, it'll kind of have some horns to it. I don't know how that's going to work yet. I'll let you know. And then, someone said I didn't explain this, so I, I apologize, but I used water with a sponge, and the reason I do that is because this gets, the plastic will get super hot, and you're going to use the sponge to push into the holes and push the plastic into it as you heat it up. And that'll help cool it down and keep it in place from coming out. So, uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, sorry about the video not containing everything, but I'll try to do my best and take a little video of me actually pushing it in, so. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look with the milk jug on it. Uh, I put the big full face part. Oh, my kids are fighting. Got it on video, haha. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, it was really, normally it's not hard, but I, it was really hard to get the milk jug on with the horns that I put on here. So I'm hoping this is gonna turn out okay. We will find out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you kind of how I press this in there. And I kind of use a wet sponge. And I kind of press it in there like that. And kind of roll it. Careful, because it gets hot. And I also kind of press the skull down too, and I'll do that right here. This is a little bump right here on the skull. And it might be normal, but I'm gonna push this down anyway. I just kind of push it and I roll it. Let me see some steam. And the same thing right here. Try to get the seam out of there. I'm gonna heat it up. Bit more water. Okay, let's see if we can roll it down in there, just like that. Alright. Okay, you can shut it off. Okay. I got it all melted on. This is kind of how it looks like. This. Uh, and now I'm going to try to cut it off. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so the skull, this is basically how it came out. Is it perfect? Yeah, not exactly, but it looks kind of cool, actually. So, kind of like a horn skull. That's it. Um, cut it off the back like normal. Came out, it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt than the normal skull, so this might be the last horn one I do for a little bit. But, I don't know. Kids want me to make the unicorn one. 
maybe. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay, here is the finished product. Still got a paint, but came okay. Just gotta do a little bit of painting and I'll do a little paint tutorial when I get that done. But uh, to take it off, I just kinda take a utility knife, just slice kinda halfway up the back of the skull and it slips right out of that. And that's it.